Hey, happy Wednesday to everybody. Thanks for joining me on Stars Touch. So I was lucky to have a nice haircut yesterday. I've been a cosmetologist for years and to sit down and have somebody treat you is so cool. Um, I just really enjoyed it. Um, I just wanted to share that with you. And you know what? It's never been for me when I have sat and had um, many hair uh, appointments over the years. It's never been about the hair. It's always about the camaraderie and talking and really getting to know someone, getting to know their life story. So all my jobs turn into that. I just love people so much. So I just wanted to share that. I just, I had a really nice day yesterday. I'm going to go ahead and pull some cards out of the energy oracle cards. I want to talk a little bit about the energy I just learned today from Soulful Revolution, this is the lady I went through my spiritual business class with, that as of January of 2022, our North Node has been in Taurus and our South Node has been in Scorpio. So all this time, if we have a little diary and we were to look back at what was going on in January of 2022, it could give us a little insight right now. So Taurus is all about our finances and our finer things that we want in our life, being comfortable. So our North Node, that is talking about where we want to go. This is our moving forward. What is it we want to do with our career and things like that? Whereas the South Node, being in um, Scorpio all that time, Scorpio is really feeling those emotions and working through a lot of our wounds and pains. And so um, it's been a really long process and we are getting ready to switch nodes um the nodes are going into a whole new place and i'm going to share more with you on that as soon as i um, learn more but at this point in time just know that it's it's uh right up to this full moon lunar eclipse on friday probably around 12 30 central time we are going to have um a lot of different energies and emotions going on. Scorpio is a lot about solving some of these shadow sides to ourselves, really figuring out how can we be our best? What do we need to let go of? Um, it's not easy, but it's going to be very rewarding so that we can move forward in our life. Um, energy Oracle cards. This is with um, Sarah and Taylor. Sarah and Taylor. Anybody else tired right now? My goodness, this Pluto retrograde has been wreaking havoc on my electronics and I tell you I wake up and I feel like there's a lead weight in my shoes so I don't know about you guys but it's been it's been slowing me down to really look at myself and look at what what situations I'm in you know paying attention to my life wow so it's a great time to just stop if your computers don't work something's going on electronically wise just look up at your angels and say what do I need to know you know what is this why is this happening? What is it that I need to know right now that's more important than whatever this computer situation is? Rather than get frustrated, it's really kind of a gift. Except for when you're at work trying to run a business, then ah, uh, it's a little tough. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pull this card. This is for us today, Wednesday. What is it we need right now? What is it that we need to bring in right now? Come on, shuffling up pretty nice. Here we go. All right. It's upside down. It's adjacent possibilities. I'm going to turn it over so you can see it a little better. Sounds like we have some choices to make. And the number on there is 24, in case you can't see that. Sometimes the numbers make a difference. Two plus four is six, so it's a six energy. A lot about just, um, yeah, stability, um, our foundations, things like that really paying attention to what we need in order to feel stable and secure these days. All right, so when it's upside down, it's a reversed read. So I'll read this. It says, when reversed, the adjacent possibilities card is warning you to be careful not to miss an unknown opportunity because you're too married to your agenda. It's also asking you to turn inward with a willingness to shake up your old health, unhealthy patterns and inner habits. Ooh, shaking up those unhealthy patterns. That's that's not fun, but it's necessary right now, I believe. The power of your life force moves through your deeply held habits, protect, protect, projecting your energy out into the universe and calling back your results. The power of the life force that moves through you is has deeply held habits, which are projecting your energy out into the universe and calling it back for results. Okay, that's just basically saying 
if we're doing a lot of things that we really don't want to do, it's going to bring more of those to us if we don't find a way to say clear, cancel, release. Let's bring in what we really want to come in now. Let's think about the positive things that we really want to bring into our life and take a moment and think about it. In this way, your ongoing thoughts and beliefs are really your defining moments. And in every next moment, you have another energetic choice. So it's time to decide, are you going to let worry and self-doubt define you? Or are you going to step into every present adjacent possibility of optimism, trust, and self-love? No matter how stuck you feel, you always have an option in the thousands of choices you make every day. Yes, stop for a moment, think about it, change the thought. Clear, cancel, release. What is it I want to bring in? Do a little energy towards that at the end here. One more card. To have one more card, please. Sandra Ann Taylor. Love it. I haven't looked at these for a while, so <laughs> here we go. All right. Strategy. We're making a strategy right now. We have to make a plan to figure out what it is and how can we bring it in. Got a nice feather pen on there. All right, number 21. Take a look. Here we go. This card shows a pen, journal, compass, and key. When you receive this card upright, it indicates that this is the optimum time for setting up a very specific strategy for achieving your goals. Write about the direction you want to go in. Consider any potential change in course that may be needed. Be aware of particulars regarding your goals and have some conscious plan in mind. Structure the short-term goals needed to make your long-term goal a reality. This card is telling you to spend some time setting things in order. It's time to take full control. Add thought to action and set your sights on the road ahead. Yes, seeing the bigger picture. What is it that we want to bring in? Write it down. Say it out loud. Really just um, manifesting what it is that we want to bring in. So I'm going to send out some energy right now to the sacral and the heart. And just really breathe and think about what would you want to bring in? What, what do you want to try that can really warm your heart? <sighs> Seems good to just stop and breathe. a little world peace energy too just really sending out all the loving energy to our heart and our sacral and shifting into our solar plexus with archangel jophiel really seeing our inner beauty and showing what it is that we can do what can we do to help ourselves and others and breathe Thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. I'm going to just ground this in. Anybody that can use a little boost, send them over the link. I mean, it's <laughs> not too many minutes just to spend some time with yourself and think about things. All right. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Take care.